Hey YouTube. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell some of you uh, first-time gardeners how to get some free tomato plants. You see this here little tomato plant I put in the ground a few weeks ago? It's really growing up, doing real well. Well, I pruned this tomato plant to keep it from getting out of control because in this tomato bed that I have they're a little bit kind of too close together actually uh, but if you don't prune whoops if you don't prune your tomato plants sometimes they'll get out of control especially if you're trying to stake them let me show you what I'm talking about that tomato plant grows up out of the ground in a vine and it splits off into branches just like this one here and this one here and as we come up this one here and on up but as soon as this thing starts to grow you're gonna see these third branches try to come off right at the crotch of where the branch intersects you see this little one right here if you don't prune this one off this one here within just a week or two will dominate this branch here it will become as its own trunk now I left one growing on here for a few weeks just to show you what I'm talking about but first let me remind you you can always identify it because it's right at the crotch see I've already cut one off here so this one here I'll nip that one right off of there you see that if I don't, that thing will grow into something like this lower one. You see this one here? This is exactly, this was the small branch. And now this is the one that's coming off onto its own trunk with its own branches. And that thing will get huge as big as the main trunk. Now, yeah, you might say, well, hey, that's more tomatoes, right? Well. It might be or it might not be. I'll let people debate on that. I've, I've found that by cutting these off, uh, I get more tomatoes off the other one. I, I've compared mine with other ones and I cut these off pretty much because I don't believe it takes into your harvest, but it does uh, increase their manageability because when this big trunk is gone, and believe me, this thing will continue to grow enormously when this thing is gone my my other branches are going to get more sunlight and if you're out in an open area planting and lights not a problem yeah you could probably just let it bush I've seen them grow five six feet seven feet eight feet around uh, one huge bush but uh, since I grow mine in a compacted area I can't allow that so I stake them or I use my tomato cages as I showed you in my other video. Now, uh, the other problem with this is this trunk, in order to stake this, you have to tie this one over to this stake. And that's the problem you end up with. You end up with all these branches and it's like trying to pull the end of a broom together, a straw broom together, you see? So that's the problem. Now, if you're in a tomato cage, it's not so, so critical because it has room to grow out. It can grow right out through the uh, you know, cage, so that's not a problem. But here's what I want to tell you what you can do. If you let this grow a little bit and then you cut it off, you can take this branch, stick it right into some good dirt, and within a week or two, that will be its own plant. Look at that. That's a nice size tomato plant to have right off the bat. Now, if you're canning and you want to get all your tomatoes at one time, that's probably not going to be helpful. But if you're someone like me who likes to try to space his uh, food intake out, that's good because I can use this one in another uh, planting area where I've already harvested it. Maybe where I had some lettuce or something and now I have room. Well, I can take this tomato uh, stem here that I, that I pot and now I can plant it somewhere else. So this is a great way to get a few plants early in the season. And when you cut that little sucker off, you can see here's another one back here. You see here's another one? I'll come through here and I'll cut these off. Now, when they get to a certain point uh, up towards the top, I may let them go. But if you, if you don't cut those early off, can you see at every junction where I've cut them? 
if you don't cut those off, you'll have an unmanageable plant in no time at all. And I don't think it increases your yield. As you can see, there's not one tomato on this on this line here, this overgrown one, but this little tiny branch, that's the one that has the tomatoes. So, so it, it really covers two bases. One, it prunes your tomato uh, tree so that you can manage it better, if you're, uh, spe especially if you're staking them. Or two, it gives you a good starter plant. So I'll show you one that I stuck in a pot uh, last week and I'll show you how it's doing here we are in this area here I've got some tomato cages uh, about a week a week or so ago I came through and I clipped some of these back a little bit and uh, one of the clippings I was just out here with my wife and we were talking about this very thing whoops get my finger out of the way and I stuck these in the ground here. Now, these were two clippings that I just pulled off and stuck in the ground. I don't even think I watered them. In fact, I wasn't really intending for them to grow here because I've got a uh, cucumber right here that I'm going to bring up in another uh, cage. So, this one here, look at that. Look at those roots shooting off of that stem that quickly you see that you can see where that was cut Oops. where that was cut let's get that dirt off of there and already roots just shot off of there so if you need more tomato plants you cut these suckers off of the ones that you have going and you can just start your own and that's one way you can save a few bucks, you know. Here's another one over in another pot. Uh, I stuck this one in there the same time I did that one. Look at this one. He's looking pretty good. He's looking pretty, still a little stressed, but you can tell. Uh, you know, after being cut off from a week ago and just stuck in the dirt, that's pretty good condition, huh? So that's one way you can get some free tomato plants. Buy a couple or seed a couple, and as they start to grow, take some of the clippings off of them, especially those suckers right at the crotches where the branch grow out. Cut those off because those, if you let them grow for, I don't know, a week or two, they'll grow quickly. And you can just cut those off and then transplant them straight into the dirt. And I don't really have any special dirt over here. This is just kind of, you know, my backyard mulch mix up of uh, grade dirt with a little bit of compost. And that's it. And it grows.